The, the soundings gathering and to to listen <laughs> to start with I'm here to teach and perform my the traditional Turkish music I also hold a violin versatile I'm playing violin in traditional Turkish music style why am I here curiosity I think I was curious because I've not really experienced the South global uh, so, and a symposium of this sort, basically. Well, at first it was a very interesting topic to me because something like a symposium dedicated to sound. I'm more into music, which music is sound, but I believe um, sound is way beyond the music. So I came with a very open mind to see something new, to hear something new, to know something new about. I think I'm here to elicit change and give voice to those that are marginalised. It's an opportunity to discuss relevant issues, very important issues, and uh, you know, share concerns and hear how other people also view that, that problems, those problems that I, I see in our discipline of music, but also in music as an art. The idea was to uh, create an anti-festival and conference kind of an uh, assembly where everything is not as structured as we know um, how conferences in the West or uh, festivals in the West are organized in general. And One feeling that we had was that we never get far enough in our conversations um, because we always start from square one, right? We go to a new, a new institution, ask again, so what do you think we should do and what could be a, or the radio station says, what should Western music do to decolonize? And you always start from zero and then go a certain distance and then you stop because that's the end of the interview or that's the end of the conversation. And so what I felt and, and we all felt together, I think, was that we needed a venue to go further. <laughs> gathered we uh, made the uh, listening uh, silent uh, keynote through listening to uh, like self re reflective listening uh, noting down what he thought around a question that we meditated on and then we shared it in a collective format so it was like empowering our, our knowledge through uh, finding resonances in our own thought and then sharing it collectively with each other to finding like a collaborative spirit. Uh, maybe some conflict, some resonating with, but ultimately it's a collective knowledge that was formed by sharing. We are redefining who we are, you know? So I rather use the word, the global, <laughs> the global fluidity. And that covers everything. Think important to qualify what we mean when we use the term. Um, I think the global south for me, even though it doesn't have the S, is a plural shared subjugation in, it, in of itself. Um, so I think there's some sort of responsibility we have to also take, so just using terms flippantly. That there is other forms, not, and I don't want to use other, I want to use there is, exist, um, alternative forms, and, and, and this is, I think, the, por the, the part of the coloniality is just like, to think that there is no otherness. It's just that there is other forms 
of other worlds exist and has been existing there. So that was the beginning of the day. After lunch, we go deeper into practice through different knowledge that we can transmit from uh, who knows better to who would like to know, like traditional singing, oh, makam. This dhupo. makam named as a suzinak. Let's perform this suzinak makam again. Sol, fa, mi, re, all together. Sol, fa, mi, re, mi, re, mi, fa, re, mi, re, mi, fa, re, re, do. First me and then you. Re, do, do, si, do, si, si, la. And si la sol fa sol. So now this dha to pa, my teachers would just would say that is like the offering to the sun. See. Yeah. And then after the workshop, uh, a typical day would go into some small gatherings and out of those gatherings there are again uh, presentations or artistic uh, presentations, uh, scholarly presentations, talks, online interventions. Uh, th those are kind, kind of consolidating the discourse that we are trying to practice in the workshops. This is actually Abda Parveen. She is a very famous uh, Sufi uh, and Qawwali vocalist from Pakistan. I'm envisaging a universe like sages of the ancient world. Mine is a complex modern act of archaeology. And then we'll have coffee again, uh, a little break, then we'll go for some jamming sessions. Not all day we are jamming sessions, we also jammed with food twice and also <coughs> jammed with our instrument. I think those those open meetings are, I guess they are the best in one way or another. Uh, that's where the real exchange maybe happens or after someone's lecture. The special with the conference is the flexibility and this organic flowing ideas, organic conversations. And um, before coming to the conference, um, I had a small idea about what should I do for the workshop. But in the first day, it gave me a lot of inspiration to how to communicate with the, uh, with the audience in the conference, yeah. The special thing is that people really, uh, different people come with their practical experience, you know. Uh, there is this uh, unconventional approach. I've been in many conferences and sometimes they are all just based on re reading papers. People are just, it's just academic, it's purely academic, uh, an academic approach content. And this one is really uh, a flexible, a mixed mode whereby you have this academic side and you have the, the artistic side, the practical. So this is very important because music is not just an, uh, an academic discipline, it's also a practice that people that people do in their life yeah I think it's a great opportunity to listen to experiences of people and like knowledges of people that are really uh, focused in other 
uh, other knowledges, which is like non non Western knowledges. The topic of the event is to me is very le relevant. Uh, people with different cultures, other uh, than European culture, could have a voice, could uh, address some issues uh, related to to sound, to how to be heard, how to how to uh, uh, be in in the world. And I'm glad that a lot of people here are from different parts of the world which I know we have come with what we have, what is peculiar to us. And I'm looking forward to hearing the next person from the next part of the world. Mm -hmm. So I believe someone else is looking forward to listening to me. So, yeah. <laughs> is a contribution because we are taking our time out and coming. Uh, I think the way I work, I'm a very slow processor. <laughs> so I'm here just processing information. I think most of the things that will stem out of the symposium is going to be more like the after and what we keep in touch and network through and build post. Uh, and, and where it sort of starts shaping us in different ways. So. I see this as a starting point of something. I contribute my reflections, I contribute my work, uh, and uh, I contribute my observations to, to uh, what, what, what music in my understanding is and what it does in society, in the lives of people and so on, yeah. A sense of uh, togetherness among those people who are usually you know, lonesome fighters in their communities, in their traditions, in their contexts. Um, that's always what such conferences can contribute, that you feel that you're not alone in having these issues and having these, um, uh, being in these situations. And that's a sentiment that has been echoed to me many times. I'm not alone. There, there are many more people like me who, who feel the same thing. I mean, it's open a lot of perspective. Uh, one of them it's it's not enough to be aware it's more than aware it's need to act and how we can act each of us individually the new generation we have we have time and we still have hope to give the new opportunity for the new generation and that's what I feel like uh, in this conference and in general how, I mean, personally, I, I listen to myself and I ask myself how I can get, communicate with these people, with these diverse ideas and share it with my people, share it with my young generation. Some thoughts are discussed and they are considered to be uh, part of the discussion, for example, horizontality, equity, sense of inclusion, uh, critical race theory, and music, uh, in, what is indigenous, how we understand indigenous, indigenousness, indigenuity. <laughs> discuss these terms, opened it up for expanding the scope of the terms and also the thoughts behind them and also include some other perspective. Uh, getting inputs from other uh, disciplines, other musicians of uh, ways of analyzing things, ways of looking at things and um, it could lead to more such uh, collaborations, meetings, even more, maybe another edition of this or somewhere else. That's great, I think, but that would be really nice if it happens. Yeah, I'm sure it'll happen. I hope that 
all the voices in this conference can be heard. Yeah. And it's not just remain in, in the like conference uh, conversation, but the, the, the impact or the, the need of, of being heard can, can be really emphasized into whatever institution or society. This is a conference that I so much uh, look forward, the, the model of a conference I look forward to see happen more. So I believe this is going to open up um, people's mind. It's like a 21st century discovery for me, you know, something new. So yes, it's a new discovery and I feel a whole lot of other people should know about it, should hear about it. One of the possibilities of this conference is to go back in one sense, but also go forward um, to really a uh, holistic and, and wide spectrum of uh, doing sound because apparently it's something that we humans need to do and interact with. And um, yeah, that's my hope that we can get there again to do this awareness that this is something essential for us. Mm -hmm.